Well, Strauss as a composer is just as creative and uh, work-oriented as a Puccini and Verdi. In that, I mean that there's real attention to helping to deliver the internal workings of these plots and, and characters. Just the thing is that each composer has their own very unique stamp, and yet there are certain similarities. There are always these little motifs that represent certain emotions, certain actions of characters, and that goes from Wagner to Puccini, Verdi, and certainly Strauss. And so when people hear Arabella, even if you haven't heard this particular piece before, I think there are going to be a lot of characteristics that are very similar to other operas that, that you've heard before. But Strauss, of course, has his own language, which is very decadent. I think if you've ever had a, a Zacher Tort from, from Vienna, you really just know the, the depth of flavor. And so I, I, I think the, the big task for us, especially in the pit, is to try to make sure that all of those tastes, all those ingredients that overlap and interweave constantly through the piece uh, are, are done with enough, um, I don't know, enough egg white in the mix to make sure it has this buoyancy and, 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 and easy moving feel. Because actually when you look at the score, you just think, oh my word, so many notes. How, does it, how do all those layers uh, work without bumping into each other? And so a lot of the process has been to try to make sure that all those motives speak clearly. But it's very heroic music for the orchestra, which is, which is great for us. There's lots of beautiful horn writing. So many things that people might not remember are written by Strauss. And when they hear these sounds, they'll, oh yeah, I remember that from an orchestra concert. I remember that from some chamber music. I remember that from, from songs that, that Strauss wrote as well. And I think probably the most, uh, the most distinctive instruments that, that Strauss uses uh, certainly are the horns. The French horns are used throughout in various ways. The oboe, certain solo strings, viola, violin, he treats in very, very um, supple and emotional ways. It, it's just, a, they're just hallmarks of his musical signature that really, that come out very clearly in Arabella. <laughs> 